Good morning. I got a new cards yesterday for Christmas from my daughter. So let's use them. Oops, time for some housekeeping. Cracked open, rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. The Seven Star Sisters. Birthing Creations, Tapestry of Life, Expression. Let's get, let's get one more. Star bathing, light body, crystal grid, transmission, and activation. Okay, <clears throat> someone of you are being, some of you, sorry, are being, um, an activation is happening. Maybe, maybe you're aware that you're maybe you're aware that you're special in some way. I also feel like whoever you are, you belong to the um, Pleiades group of um, star seats and you are being awakened now to to that fact you're being awakened you're also um, probably being drawn to some kind of creative thing like maybe you're a painter or you're a cook or something and the star bathing like you gosh see like I always wanted to work with crystal grids like I always wanted to buy the itty bitty um little uh almost like the um clear quartz crystals, the little itty bitty ones, and do um, um, grid work, and you may be being called to that also. Um, this card here is telling me, let's see, can you see that? This card right here is telling me that you've gone through or are going through some sort of uh, dark night of the soul and you are being exposed to who you are, what you are. Yeah. Yeah. You need to um, 
do some research about star seeds. But really, this is all about um, you're from the Pleiades. You've got some kind of creative gift that it is now time for you to express. You're being activated. Okay, let's get some more about this. Okay, tell me more. What is the most important message for my collective today? That's a lot of swords. Okay, I'm seeing someone. There's some kind of relationship ending. The Nine of Swords, <clears throat> the Nine of Swords, and the Four of Swords. Um, it's ending because, like, the cycle's getting ready to end with this relationship. Um, and you need to make sure that you're taking time to rest. The Eight of Swords tells me that you've felt trapped by this relationship. You worked really hard on this relationship and now, now it's coming to an end. It looks like you guys had two completely different paths that you're supposed to be on 
and you came together at the wrong time. It's like this Queen of Wands here. And this King of Wands with the Strength card. Hmm. I feel like after this period of rest that you both are going to be going through, I think the Divine Masculine feels like he's carrying all the weight. The Divine Feminine feels like she's being trapped. Are you guys some sort of um, twin flame or soulmate karmic relationship? Or there's karma in your relationship from past lives that needed to be cleared in this life. Absolutely, that's what's going on here. So you guys had karma that needed to be cleared in this life before you can come back together. Um, <clears throat> Divine Feminine has um, definitely healed her attachment to the world and she is walking away while the divine masculine um actually i see a lot with the divine feminine this 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 reading is for the divine feminine all right girl two of cups I'll show you because you can't see it the way that the camera's set up right now, but you're <clears throat> you've healed your attachment to the world and you guys will be able to come back together. There's some energy and I dropped a card. What card fell out? The Emperor. Yeah. Okay. So Divine Feminine here, you definitely are doing the work right now. And then the Two of Cups. So you're, you're, and then you see this, this is that, that, is it called the Staff of Ephesus? I don't know, but this is the symbol of um, the medical industry. And then here you have the lion, which is strength with the wings. So when you both, when divine masculine and divine feminine are able to come back together, you guys will come back together healed so that way and he's most definitely coming back as the emperor. Totally grounded. Um, on the right, on his right path. Um, Self-aware. And stable. For divine masculine when he comes back into your life. And get one more card. Thank you. Yeah, all this healing, all this healing that you both are doing is gonna, um, it looks like looks like he's on the he's going to be able to be more charitable 
and take care of you better. He'll even be able to reciprocate. He'll be able to reciprocate emotions back to you better. He's going to be coming back better. But you guys are going to be needing some time apart from each other in order for him to do his healing. You're already healing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... Wow, I was unprepared for this. It's the right deck. Um, no. I want this one. Hold, please. All right. Can I get some more about this? situation with the divine feminine and the divine masculine and it doesn't matter if you're a oh, I don't know where I was going with that thank you oh yeah baby you are divine feminine in this relationship is definitely healing her energy. So after this breakup and you're going to, let's see, let me move these down here. After this period of rest, your energy is going to be healed and you're going <clears> to, <throat> oh my God, you're going to be able to express your femaleness, your left brain, and you're going to be able to express yourself better. Like the whole goal of this rest during this time of separation is about accepting and nurturing the female within, the feminine within. Swords. Absolutely. There's a lot of water in this card. So it's like you're going to learn to balance your emotions with your thoughts and n not continue to allow your emotions to run your life. Our emotions are important, right? That's what, that's where our intuition comes from, paying attention to our emotions, but you're going to learn to balance it. Yeah, four of swords again. <clears throat> you definitely need this rest to heal your heart. All right, can I get some more about the strength card, please? Thank you. You want, you want your partner to come back, your person. You want him to come back completely stable in his emotions as well. 
Um, he's probably all over the place, angry all the time. Um, he's most definitely allowing his emotions to run his life. Like they say that little kids live their life by emotions where grown-ups use logic. I mean, that's not entirely the case, but it's been said similar to that. Can you tell me about this King of Wands, please? Hmm. Wheels getting ready to turn. Let's see, one more. Queen of Wands? Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Okay. Okay, so when the wheel turns and you guys are able to come back together into union again, it'll be like fresh a fresh start. It's going to be like a brand new relationship even though you guys have known each other for a long time it's going to be uh, fresh fresh it's going to be a new relationship even though it's an old relationship tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles please cups page of wands Six of Pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me. Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So... This, um, yeah, look at this. This separation is going to completely close a whole cycle of karma for you guys. A whole cycle of karma for you guys. I kind of want to know more. Kind of, hell, I want to know more. Let's see, um, let's pull out. All right, let's pull out this deck and we'll get some final closing thoughts on this. The Ten of Swords. Yeah. Yeah, the Eight of Wands with the Page of Wands, that's Nine Wands. That's almost the end of a cycle. So you just like, like up here at the beginning of your reading, you end the Nine of Swords, you know, like that's almost at the end of this cycle and here we're almost at the end of the cycle. The eight, of, the the eight of wands with the page of wands. The page of wands. This particular card is kind of telling me, like, um, yeah, like there's like fresh energy coming in. Um, Divine masculine is gonna have to go through a tower moment a little bit, but uh, you know, it's like it's like this. It's like this. You guys are gonna separate. You're going to go through, both of you are going to go through some tower moments. Divine Masculine more than Divine Feminine. I feel like, 
whoever you are as the divine feminine, you're doing the work already. And it's your, it's your person that's going to have to do some work. He is going through, he's going to have to go through a death and a rebirth and a tower moment to heal his end of the bargain. Like you guys have karma together and uh, he's going to have to, he, <laughs> I, I'm hearing he's going to have to die a little bit inside to heal. That's what I hear. All right, let's get some closing thoughts on this situation. Really? Okay. The Emperor with... So it looks like whoever you guys are, are going to be learning balance and control. Tell me more. Yeah, nine of cups, two of cups. That's 11 cups, it's still two cups. You, you yeah, come in, it's in the two of cups again, again. So you guys are going to come back together and, man, you're going to fuck some shit up. I'm just saying, like, you guys are going to be, like, the power couple, like Brad and Angelina before they got divorced. <laughs> like, that's what I'm hearing. I got a couple more, please. Anything else that the collective divine feminine masculine need to know for today? Ha, ah, thank you. Queen of Wands. Yeah, y'all are healing. Anything else? The Queen of Wands again. It's just more confirmation. That's all. Spirit's telling me I didn't even need to pull this deck out. Mm -hmm. mm. This is the Ten of Swords. Y'all's karma. It's almost like you guys have been stabbing each other in the back for eons a long time. So this separation is going to finally clear that up. You guys will be coming back together totally healed. All right. One more. No more ruin, no more worry, no more decay. I mean, there is going to be balance and stability here, but that's not to say that, you know, while when you come back into union, you still need to... Protect yourself. Nine of Pentacles. <clears throat> You're going to still continue to need to um,
Like, if you guys get married, I would sign a prenup. Because Divine Feminine, you've got money coming in. Or Divine Masculine. I'm not going to say it's coming in penniless. But he's... Like, Divine Feminine, you're like the breadwinner. Divine Masculine, you're like... You're like the balance. Yeah, he's going to end up becoming the balance to keep you grounded. <clears throat> to keep you grounded um he's going to temper your flame like divine feminine i feel like you're a workaholic um you know like you're a hustler and then he's gonna come in and when he comes back he's gonna be able to keep you grounded on this plane of existence um but yeah you guys come back out of separation in a union i would have a prenuptial agreement For sure. Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Oh, we've got the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords at the end of the deck. So, this cycle of cruelty toward each other is ending. So, congratulations. You guys are going to separate for a little while. But you're going to come back together. I wasn't expecting this to turn out to be a love reading. This reading is <clears throat> specifically for the for the divine feminine. Uh, yeah, girl, like you. <clears throat> That's so crazy. So, girl. You've got a little bit of work to do. Just a little bit. I feel like when you guys are in your separation is when, um, when you're, you're going to have, um, or he's going to have his dark night of the soul. But, you know, even this card here cracked open kind of says that like you're also going to go through some shit but you're gonna figure out who you are so that way you can come into come back into this relationship better than you were it's like you're going through an activation right now and you you're gonna see everything for what it is too Okay, I hope you like this reading. If it helped, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you in a couple of days with a Bible story.